about to save another marriage with this fried shrimp po' boy girl. Hell yeah, girl. Let's get started. All right, let's make some ramelage sauce. We're gonna make ramelage sauce to put on uh, our sandwiches and stuff, okay? It's good on seafood po' boys. You gotta have it. Uh, so I'm gonna put it in a bowl, everything first, because my little blender is lit. Shut up! <laughs> is limited to how much it will hold okay so uh i'm gonna mix it and then pour like half in there and blend it in another half okay so you want about a quarter cup of green onion okay you want a, about a quarter cup of uh white onion or whatever yellow onion just chopped onion uh that's that's about a half an onion there okay uh about a quarter cup of celery which is Pretty much one stalk of celery. You want three tablespoons of chopped parsley. All right. And then let's see here. We're gonna add some garlic. Um, about two tablespoons of garlic, which I find was about five cloves of garlic, chopped garlic. Okay. Then you want about uh, two tablespoons of prepared horseradish. We'll throw that in there. Two tablespoons of prepared horseradish. You see it, girl? <laughs> All right. And then we want three tablespoons of ketchup, three tablespoons of yellow mustard, and three tablespoons of uh, whole grain mustard. I'm gonna dump all three of those in there, three of each. Put that in there, okay. Then we're gonna pour three quarter cups of, uh, you can use vegetable oil, I'm using light tasting olive oil, okay? But you can use vegetable oil, it's fine. I'm just gonna put olive oil because uh, I think it's a little healthier. Healthier, if you can hear me over the dog. And then we need, one quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay. Then we're gonna put one teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna put one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Just like that, okay? So that's all of it, all, all, all our ingredients. Please excuse the dogs, they have no manners. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix this up like a rough mix, and then we'll load it into our little blender, because my blender can only hold about half of this. I need to buy a bigger blender, girl. Or y'all can send me some money and I can buy one. <laughs> just kidding, bro. I need a sponsor. Okay, so I'm gonna mix that all up. Real good. And we're gonna put about half of it in our little blender. Blend it up real good, and we'll do the other half. All right, we got it in our little blender to the maximum liquid line. Now we're just gonna blend it up. Oh, oh, well, that's way better. Hell yeah, I think we just saved another marriage with this ramelade sauce. All right, girl, I'm about to fry up my seafood for the uh, po' boys. Okay, um, I just got my shrimp in here. I actually got some fish in here too. Um, in an egg wash, it's just egg. it's just scrambled egg, girl, with some hot sauce in it. Okay, I just put my shrimp in there, let it sit in there a minute with the hot sauce. Um, and then uh, the batter that I use, like I said before, my seafood batter, I just keep recycling it. I sift it when I'm done and I put it in the freezer. Or actually, I freeze it first, then I sift it because 
it'll freeze all everything that's in there and then i get it out of there and then i just keep adding more flour and stuff why do these bitches keep stop barking stop it i'm about to make some fried dog to go on the side of this pool boy make a hot dog anyway i love my children but they are pissing me off hush can y'all be quiet please go away all right there's the other bitch all right uh anyway so yeah whatever battery you want to use girl i this ain't like a seafood video teaching how to cook but i'm just telling you what i do okay so i just do that and i dip it in there and then, okay anyway girl let's fry up some shrimp for our uh sandwiches all right girl like i said uh your seafood batter is whatever you want girl uh like i said mine is just a mixture of a lot of things i got some flour in here uh i got uh, some fish fry in here i got some shrimp fry in here i just keep recycling it after i'm done i put it in a freezer I let it freeze and then i pull it out whenever i want to use it and then i sift it through a colander actually get all the hard pieces out the liquids and the whatever if there might be anything left over get all that out and then if I need to add more, if I'm running out of uh, flour, I'll add some fish fry or whatever I want to it, girl. And the more you do that, actually, <laughs> the better it gets. It really does. So I just get a, my shrimps in there and I just toss them around and coat them. And then we fry them up, girl. All right, let me show you what I do. This is what I do. I shake the excess batter off of them. And then I put them in my basket, kind of spread them around. Okay, try to get that off of there. And I cook my seafood at 400 degrees. I set this thing as high as it'll go. Because uh, you want to cook seafood fast and hot. I see all these recipes, cook it at 350, girl. You want to cook chicken at 350 because it's got a bone in it and takes a long time. But seafood, turn it up, girl, all the way. Get it hot. You want to cook it super fast, okay? That's the way you do it. So once I got the bottom of this full, then I'll drop it. All right, girl, once I got the bottom of, of my basket full of shrimp, I'll just drop it in that grease. And you only want to cook shrimp about two or three minutes. They cook real fast. They'll start floating. As soon as they start floating, they're pretty much done, girl. Two or three minutes, maybe four, no longer than that. Depending on how big they are. Girl, see how they're floating? That's about four minutes. They're done, girl. Golden brown. So just pull them out of the grease, let them sit there a minute. Drain in there. And then lay them in a pan with some paper towels. Like that. Let them cool off, girl. Hell yeah, let's put this sandwich together. I'm hungry, shit. All right, girl, let's put our sandwich together. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this. I toasted this bread with a little butter. That's just what I like to do. You don't have to do that. But I'm gonna hit that bread with some of this Ramelon sauce. First thing, right there. Right on that bread, girl. And then I'm gonna take some shrimps. Put my fried shrimps on there. I like a lot of fried shrimp, girl. It's gotta be falling out. Shit, don't be shy with the shrimps. Mmm, those shrimps are good. Then we're gonna hit it. I got some coleslaw, girl. I'm gonna hit the top of it like that. Some coleslaw. Or if it spills over, girl. That's what makes it good. Make a whole nother sandwich out of it. Sure. We hit it with some coleslaw on top. Shit. Then I'm gonna hit it with some. Uh, let's see. Let's put some uh, tomatoes on there. I like tomatoes on my sandwich. And then I got these uh, pickles. These. Uh, Beer pickles, girl. Hell yes. We'll put some beer pickles on top of it like that. Shit. Hell yeah. Maybe some uh, some 
fresh cracked pepper on top. Hell yeah, shoot. I don't know, maybe, maybe another little drizzle of a Ramallah, Ramadan sauce or whatever. There you go, girl. That's your shrimp pull boy right there. That's falling apart. That's the way it ought to be, girl. <laughs> I think we just saved another marriage with this one. Sit this in front of your husband, girl, while he's watching the game. Like I said before, just sit it in front of him. Walk away. Don't say a word. Leave the room. And just leave him stunned in his essence of shrimp pull boy. And he won't know what to do with himself, girl. Trust me, though. Later on... <laughs> You gonna get yours when it's bedtime. Y'all like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video, girl.